Welcome to One Place Review of Prospectus, undoubtedly the most popular crypto-powered economic strategy. Behind picturesque landscapes and a soothing ambient hides a robust cross-blockchain mining machine drawing players from all over the world in their own gold rush. Can you become a tycoon overnight there? Is it really worth it going down the mines? Find out in this video. In Prospectus, you take over the role of a wannabe industrialist ready to conquer the Wild West. With trusty workers at your side, you will complete all kinds of jobs, craft a lot and can even establish your own bank. All the mining, crafting, building as well as paying out your workers is extensively covered in Prospectus own tutorial, so we will focus on how you can earn there. There are basically two main assets in Prospectus, PGL and PSS. We'll start with the PGL as the more actively circulating token, and you will see why. PGL is basically the prospectus tokenized gold. 1000 gold ingots equal 1 PGL. There are different ways of getting it. Completing jobs, selling all kinds of things in the market, staking, and finally playing the roulette in the Wild West Casino. There are dozens, even hundreds of jobs available on prospectus. As a beginner, you will probably start with the transportation ones that don't require any tools. These are super low paying gigs and we can only recommend taking these if you send all your workers there. This could at least get you around 60 gold. Now you can get more out of those if you start mining resources and getting materials as early as possible. That way you can craft tools to jump on higher paying jobs. One worker can get you around 300 gold or even more for a gig like that. You can send your worker to a job either directly from a plot clicking on the job board or from the global order list. While that one worker brings in the gold through honest outsourced labor, you can put your two other helpers to extraction of resources or making tools for trading. Don't forget, you can only mine resources on unrented plots, like this one. See how it has no name next to the coordinates. Now, resources can be sold as they are on the market, as well as materials. Set some aside for yourself to craft basic tools. Remember, tools equal better paying jobs. Normally, you will also need to rent a plot and set up shop there to sell anything. However, you can sell stuff directly from your backpack if you go to the buying section of the market. This will make your mining operations as a nomad dependent on the current demand and you will compete with others for working on unrented plots. Still, it's a very solid start. Next is the rather slow but a super low maintenance source of PGL, staking. Prospectus has successfully run its rewards pool for about two years now. Every day, you get a share from the PGL rewards pool proportional to your contribution. When we were recording this video, the rate was around 1.3 PGL for every 10,000 PGL you lock in this pool. That's about 5% yearly interest, which is really not that bad. You can stake your PGL in the central bank that you will find in the Wild West at following coordinates, minus 01 slash 00. Once there, simply choose how much you want to deposit and enjoy your daily bonus. Probably the most lucrative option, opening a bank. Because it's a stable source of decent income from collecting fees, it also requires significant investment. You will need your own plot that you have to pay rent for and a license from the central bank. That costs about 10 million gold. Yep. But there are plenty of gold mine clusters around the Wild West without a bank nearby. You could potentially secure a constant flow of fees if you build near active operations with a lot of supply. Finally, there's the far less reliable source, the casino. You can find it in the Wild West at 01 slash minus 01. Before we go any further, we have to say that we do not encourage anyone to engage in any kind of gambling activities. Should you go down that road, you're doing that at your own risk, okay? Okay. In a casino, you will find a standard roulette, the kind you usually see in all action movies with gambling sequences. Your PGL essentially represent your chips that you can bet on particular sectors, colors, number ranges, and whatnot. If your bet is correct, you will get double of that back. Now, PGL is there for good and can be earned on a daily basis. You probably forgot about the PSS at this point, but let's take a closer look at it now. A few months back, Prospectus introduced PSS. They tokenized state shares, granting your reward for participating in public projects. Currently, all players are encouraged to take part in the railroad construction and mine their PSS as workforce or material suppliers. To jump in, switch to the Boomtown server and find the construction site at minus 01 slash minus 01. Right now, you can only deliver materials. 
As soon as the project moves to stage 2, a construction order will be created. It's important to know that all your tools and materials from the main world will not be transferred there, and you basically will have to start from scratch. Plus, if the construction isn't finished on time, you won't get any rewards. One good way to make some EOS on the side with prospectors is Wormplay. Every day you can earn up to 2000 Wombucks for actions that require signing. Stack those in between cash out events and you can potentially get a couple of dollars from prospectors alone. To get more information, find the prospector style in the top earning carousel and click or tap on show details. With earning in prospectors, there are a lot of these tricky nuances that make it a little bit discouraging. If anything, you will need either a lot of time or seed money to progress there for a rather small yield. As frustrating this may seem on the micro level, all the earning opportunities together provide you with a chance to gain profit regularly. You shouldn't expect colossal returns though, and while it's a solid game even by mainstream standards, it really pulls back its earning potential. And because of that, we only give it 2 out of 5 warm bucks. Looks like we completed this job! Subscribe if you liked the video and be sure to sign up on OnePlay for extra rewards. Ciao!